everyone, this is James. I'm just going to do a quick video on blind editing. Just the very quick basics of how you do it. Um, all I've done is I made a new show and I patched on a couple of generic RGBs just that way to give you a better visual of what exactly is going on. Um, I've already made you know a few scenes here. Um, you know, one uh, can play when I was a couple steps, just like a little chase. Um, so what I can do is I go to live and I click my scene, and it's the sequence. And I go back to edit. And I click these little sunglasses right here, aligned editing. Click them. Once you start seeing those things flash, um, you're no longer going to be interrupting the output. And to prove this, I'm going to open the um, open the DMX levels, and if I select my scene here, I've got purple down here, but you can see the DMX output is still going because of what I have going on in the lot tab. So what I can do is I can go in and say, oh, well, I want this to fade in, you know. You just start editing, you know, and or you can create an entire new scene with the sequence, um, you know, while you're while you're in blind edit. So let's do a matrix. Again, you can see this on the the grid here. So it's on the Fisher's window, but it's not actually outputting. So you can see it's still doing the chase, jumping from value to value. I'm going to do this right here. So uh, I can just do, you know, generate it, and then it's done. And now that I'm done, I can just turn my scenes off and clip that off, go back to live. And I've got my fade in like I set up, and I've got my scene like I set up. That is a really quick look at blind editing. Hope you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, comment down below. Uh, you know, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, whatever. Do the whole YouTube thing. I don't care. You know. Um, but uh, let me know how you liked the video. Thanks. Bye.